I am having a bumper crop this year of kale. Look at all this kale. I have harvested four times, maybe more, of the kale. And for the first time, I planted seeds this year. And they just went crazy. I've got the curly kale, like that one. And then the Russian kale, like this. And this is a different variety of the Russian kale, which I'm finding is a little bit milder than the, um, the curly kale. Very good, very delicious. Anyway, there's no way I can eat this much kale in one season, so I am going to blanch it and freeze it as I go along. Okay, so I'm in the kitchen. I've got my water boiling here, and I'm ready to put my kale in there. I've got a bunch of it I picked. So here's all I'm gonna do, it's super simple. What I've done is I've taken my kale and destemmed it. Didn't chop it or anything, just left it in the whole pieces. Some are bigger than others. We're just gonna stuff it in there. This is what I just picked today. And this whole bag is what I picked a few days ago. So I've got kale coming out my ears. I'm just gonna put it all in there. I am just certain it's going to fit. And it will cook down pretty rapidly. And I'll just make sure and keep pushing it down into the boiling water. And all we're doing is blanching it. And it'll, it will retain uh, the nutrients, the color, and it will freeze really well, um, up to nine months in the freezer. I'm gonna set my timer for two and a half minutes. And as soon as that timer goes off, it's ready to put in the colander and drain the water off and ready to freeze. That's all there is to it.